Changing Grooving Rolls First, remove the guide roll mounting plate by lowering it out of position until fully disengaged. To remove the top groove roll, use a 3 16 inch Allen wrench and loosen the quick release screw. Keep one hand under the top roll and pull the top roll shaft out from the front. Caution: The top roll is heavy and will fall into your hand. You may want to brace your hand to receive the weight. To remove the bottom drive roll, first loosen the hinged collar from around the bottom roll shaft using the Allen wrench and slide the collar over. Push the socket cap screw out by using the Allen wrench. Now pull the bottom roll shaft out the front of the groover. To install the bottom drive roll, insert the bottom roll shaft through the front of the groover base and line up the socket cap screw hole. Replace the socket cap screw and slide the hinged collar over. Use an Allen wrench to tighten the collar into place. To install the top groove roll, position the roller between the front and back plates of the grooving head, aligning the roller's bushings to receive the top shaft. Push the shaft in through the top roller's bushings, stopping when the back of the shaft is flush with the back of the grooving head. Use the Allen wrench to tighten the quick release screw back into place. Notice the spring loaded locking ball moving into place during proper installation. To put the guide roll mounting plate back into position, insert the plate into the hole in the front of the groover head. Slide the shaft up and tighten the hex nut. Use an Allen wrench to change the guide roll positions on the mounting plate. 